The Green Bay Packers get even more good offseason news. What is that? I'm going to cover that in this video. We're also going to take a look at a player that the Packers drafted this season that kind of correlates to the player I'm going to be featuring in this video. So we're going to go over that as well. So PFF came out with a list of players that was the were the most underrated players out there from last season. Packers have one of those guys that falls on that list. Who is it? It is none other than Dontavian Wicks. Probably doesn't come as a surprise to a lot of people out there because of where the Packers selected him last season and what he was able to accomplish out on the football field. You take a look at what he and Jordan Love were able to do. Uh, he did not show, he did not look like a rookie. He showed signs of maturity based off of his route running, what he was able to do after the catch, all of that stuff. Uh, the separation he got. Don Tavian Wicks, again, looked to be a favorite target of Jordan Love. So what did Jason Vrabel, their wide receiver coach, have to say about Don Tavian Wicks? He said, when he was healthy, man, he ran some good routes. He played competitive and he played physical. He was blocking for guys and playing the right way. He has a tremendous skill set with his footwork and the way he runs routes at his pad level. Again, doesn't surprise us when we start talking about Dontavian Wicks and, and just like, like Vrabel was saying, his physicality, even King, all of that stuff. Okay. So when we, uh, when we talk about, or when PFF talks about um, rating him so high, um, here's the reasons why. And they kind of go over it right here. So let's take a look at what it says. It says Wicks showed a consistent ability to get open. He caught the ball well with only two drops and he placed the Packers receivers with nine missed tackles and 5.6 yards after the catch per catch. According to PFF, that is one of the highest out there of the 2023 or the 2023 rookie class of receivers. Wicks was just behind Jaden Reed with the fifth rank 2.04 yards per route. That means the Packers had two of those guys rated in the top five from last year's rookie class of making guys miss after the catch. Absolutely love it. That means the Packers, they're incredibly loaded. That's what that means. And the future is going to be incredibly bright. Okay. So it goes on to say Wicks finished his debut season with 39 receptions for 581 yards, four touchdowns during his final three games. He caught 14 of 16 targeted passes for 187 yards and three touchdowns. He added two catches uh, and a 20 yard touchdown in the playoff game versus Dallas. And what better time to step up if you're if you're looking for something out of one of your rookie wide receivers now going to be sophomore, um, but a guy that steps up come playoff time, really not too scared by the limelight. Dontavian Wicks again showing that maturity, showing like he's already been there, done that. He, he we all already know he accomplished a lot in at the college level. Okay, so it goes on to say for the for. The season, Jordan Love was rewarded with 117.6 passer rating when throwing to Wicks. Of the 23 rookie wide receivers out there who were targeted at least 20 times or more, that passer rating trailed only behind Rice and Jaden Reed at 123.1. He was guilty of having three fumbles. That was his knock. But when we take a look at at that right there, he was rated in the top three for um, uh, just allowing their quarterbacks to get a high passer rating. Again, trailing behind Jaden Reed, another rookie who's going to be sophomore. The Packers have so much talent at the wide receiver uh, core. So when I started talking about at the beginning of the video, if there's a player that you know you can make the correlation to in this year's draft, um, I'm going to make the correlation to Kalen King out of Penn State. And here's the reason why. Okay, so. Yes, different positions altogether. But when you take a look at Dontavian Wicks and what Dontavian Wicks was able to do out in the football field uh, in college, his junior year, he was he was uh, uh, scheduled to be you know taken in early on in the draft, and the, and because of a poor senior season, he ends up falling in the draft to the fifth round. The Packers use their they have two picks in the fifth round. They use that second pick in the fifth round to use. Uh, to go and get J, uh, Dontavian Wicks. So because of a poor uh, senior season, he ends up falling in the draft, which the Packers, they man, they've got the ability to to sniff out talent and go after those guys that they know that's not, you know, that that's a fluke. Uh, Dontavian Wicks proves, uh, proves all the people that didn't draft them, uh, draft him earlier than that, why when he did that. So when we take a look at Kalen King, 
Uh, Rob Dombowski, of course, ESPN's writer for the Packers. He says, why the Packers, Kalen King, may be the biggest deal in the draft. Not just because of the pay. Of course, if you, you know, Kalen King, you rewind a year previously, um, um, his junior year, Kalen King was that guy that was projected to be a, a first round draft pick. And instead, he ends up falling to right near the end of the last pick uh, in, in all of the NFL draft this season. The Packers take him in the seventh round. Again, um, love it. I think he's going to pan out. So monetarily wise, the Packers, you know, they, they have uh, not only a guy with a chip on his shoulder, but they don't have to go and pay, uh, pay, you know, him like a first round pick. So the good, it says right here, uh, the good news for the Packers um, is that he was the only cornerback taken by the Packers among the 11 draft picks. This is after some projections had had them taking a quarter cornerback in the first round. And I'm going to come back to that there in a second. So there's ample opportunity, even though the Packers have Jair Alexander, Eric Stokes, Karen Din Valentine, Keyshawn Nixon, Corey Valentine, all who are starting caliber corners. Kalen King has the talent to go out there and make a splash. We all know that Kalen King, you know, Eric Stokes, if he's able to get that soft tissue um, uh, stuff figured out and he shows that he is that rookie, how he looked his rookie season, if he shows he's at that caliber, Eric Stokes, of course, is going to be the favorite of the, the guys out there. Carrington Valentine happened to be one of my favorite picks last season, again, taken in the seventh round. I love Carrington Valentine. I think the guy has a ton of upside. So when you start looking at depth in that, I know that that's not a huge uh, amount of guys out there, especially if the, if the Packers have injuries, but they, you know, restructured uh, Keyshawn Nixon's contract. They are able to re resign Corey Valentine, all of that. So the Packers looking super deep right there at the cornerback position as far as talent wise, because again, all of those guys, are um, starting caliber corners in this league. So they add a guy with a chip on his shoulder in Kalen King. Again, you see the 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 correlation between Don Davian Wicks and Kalen King. Don Davian Wicks is snubbed due to his poor performance, uh, you know, his senior year in college. He slips, he falls back into the draft. That happens to Kalen King. I think the Packers, um, Dabowski got it right. He's going to be the steal in this year's draft. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think because I'm, again, I'm out there. I'm, I'm hearing again that the that the Lions were able to just you know steal the show. They were able to pick ahead of the Packers, and and they took the, who the guy the Packers wanted. I, I can't stand hearing that stuff because we all know Gutekunst. He had his eye on a offensive lineman, no matter what. Okay, we knew that that was going to be the case. If he passed on passed on. Cooper DeGene out of Iowa, uh, a guy that the Packers, you know, a lot of people thought the Packers were going to. He had his heart set on an offensive lineman. The Lions didn't do anything by going, jumping ahead of the, the Packers and taking that cornerback. That is for sure. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Go and go.